Hi guys, I'm Joe from Keep Forest and I'd like to show you an intro into Breakout Pro. The aim of Breakout Pro is to get fast and inspiring results with minimal effort. If you're new to this product, this main display can look a little bit confusing, so let's just break it down. There are 8 units of sound, each of which can be sequenced together using the fine tune controls or in combination with our smart random system. Down at the bottom is our timeline, where we dictate the timing and layering of those units. Units 1 to 4 are shown on the left. Units 5 to 8 are shown on the right. Down on the timeline, units are displayed 1 to 8, top to bottom. Some useful controls are available to you on the main page. And there are many more inside the unit. In the bottom right we'll find an ADSR for the unit itself, and below that there's one for the entire patch. I'll hit play. Controls like pitch and filter are easily within reach. We also have LFO volume automation tables, as well as one for pan and volume. Click here to reset both tables and turn the LFO off. You can also play the sound backwards and reset the start point. Control click on any parameter to set it back to its default. Now for the fun stuff, let's create our own new sound. First of all, let's click the reset position button just to align all the sounds to their start points or end points. It's worth remembering some of these layers are reverses and some of these are forward facing decaying sounds, so we want them all to align on a certain point. Holding Alt while dragging any of the clips over will move them all together. Let's move into the sound selection window then. The best way to start is to clear the entire library. I'm going to Alt click on all the units and then select and deselect the entire library using another Alt click. Now for my choice of sounds, I'm going to go for a reversed slow motion sound first, and an organic hit, a wide hit, just to layer it up. Let's go for a big impressive bending sound, maybe some interesting decay sound, resonating signal, another decay sound, another reverse sound to layer with the slow motion, and finally a hit layer. I'm just going to save this configuration. Now what the system is going to do is randomly choose samples from the categories that we selected and arrange them in the timeline like we asked. This system allows for really contrasting and interesting sounds to be created within a second. Going back onto the main page here, I'm going to go into the randomize key button, give it a press, and let's listen to the result. Let's quickly try another one. This only touches the surface of what Breakout Pro is capable of. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys.